All right, 2022 Specialized Epic Evo versus regular Stump Jumper. Only one of these bikes is worth buying, in my opinion. So I spent a whole day with both bikes and got to compare them basically back to back. There is one caveat that goes with this, but I'm gonna keep this short because these things are way too long usually. Go with the Epic Evo. The regular Stump Jumper is a redundant bike. It was too rough um, over some of the basic choppy rough trails, um, essentially for a very similar frame weight and approach, I would just go Epic or um, Stump Jumper Evo. So the Stump Jumper regular is kind of in a, in a space that doesn't really make sense to me, which is a bummer because I had high hopes for that bike. I was really hoping it would be a good middle ground and you could get it to do anything you want. And that's where the caveat comes in. I think if you took the Stump Jumper and lightened it up, change the approach up a little bit the way different from how they come then you might be onto something basically it had tires that were way too chunky for the bike um, the rear suspension i didn't particularly like that shock on that bike there's definitely a few changes i would probably make to the suspension if i had time to um, really own it for a while and, and change things around but at the end of the day i don't think you'd get past the rough rear end of that bike given uh, the application the epic evo does basically just as well through the rough stuff it's not great either but it's not supposed to be um, and you have the benefit of it being extra light because the sum of all parts turn into a bike that is way different in approach so i feel like i could ride this thing all day long the regular stump jumper was a pig and my normal bike is a 140 ish 150 front 140 rear 150 front um, giant trance x and that's a little bit more in line with the um, stump jumper evo my hope was that the regular stump jumper would just be a lot faster and snappier honestly it felt just as slow on the climbs as the trance and going down it did not offer any relief so if i had the regular stump jumper what i would do is light wheels lighter tires something more like this ground control 2.3 that's on the epic evo and i would stick to as light a parts as possible because that frame is never going to allow you to use big heavy beefy parts so save as much weight as you can I do think if you had the Epic Evo, you could take it and make it a little more burly with parts and tire spec and wheels and actually get a little closer to what that stump jumper is or was intended to be. And then you've got an ultra lightweight frame, two bottles, still handles really well. Honestly, the wheelbase is a little more suited to this type of riding, in my opinion. The stump jumper was a little bit long um, to be as maneuverable and flickable as you would want it so there you have it between those two bikes i say ditch the stump jumper either go epic evo and make it what you want or go straight to stump jumper evo